Welcome to the Unity Watch Studio Tutorials. At this video, I'll show you how to work with states. Let's create a sound first. I designed a UI click before and I'll use that as clock ticking sound. Nothing big but useful. In Wise, import that clock sound to a sound SFX and put that SFX inside the sequence container then make it looping infinitely. Go to the Game Sync tab, under the states, create a state group named Time and add two states for Safe and Danger. Add the sequence container, find states tab inside Property Editor then add state group we created. This container will play infinitely but whenever we are in safe state, it won't be heard. And in danger state, that will be at normal voice levels. So that we will achieve a danger zone gimmick with some scripting. Assign this to a new event and include that event to the master bank. Generate the project and open Unity. If Unity says bank load fails, go to the wire speaker, refresh project and generate sound bank. I'll play that clock sound in 2D space. It won't be affected by the listener. So I start that event in my audio manager that plays the background music already. Open the script and add that event like background music one. Check the validity of selected event and post it at start. My post play implementation is still there, so I'll keep that and add that danger zone gimmick by checking the timer. Whenever the timer goes below a certain level, which is 5 seconds for this one, it will change the time state group to the danger state, and in any other timer value will continue to be in safe state. The code itself is a one liner. AK sound engine dot set state, then state group as a first parameter, then state as a second. Alright, that's it for today. We simply implemented the state and bring the game a functionality that gives us a feedback about timer. Thanks for joining me. Till the next time, have a good day.